are doing it all. I'm here again on the team, on the program, The Origin. Wow, we are here today to celebrate the man of God that has tremendously worked. We want to celebrate the man of God that has worked in the mission work. Uh, without any hearsay or any other thing, I want to believe if you take your time to study or watch this man speaks, I know there is a power from him that will be transferred to you. That is one of the things. Two, you will learn how he picked his wife. You will learn how he did it in the mission work. And above all, the dead rise under his ministration. So I want to encourage you to take your time to watch this man of God. Watching him is not just another video, but take your time to learn something from his life. You are not just here on this platform. You are not on a Jesara TV to just watch like any other thing, but you are here with a mission. You are here with a vision and you are here with a target to get. And I want to believe as you are watching this man of God, you are going to be blessed. You are going to, your level, your understanding, your insight about things and about things of God will definitely change. So I want to encourage you to take your time. But before we go on to him, I want you to subscribe to this channel. The only thing that could help you to get more people and to learn from their feet is for you to subscribe to Ajesara TV. Subscribing to Ajesara TV is a big privilege for you. I want you to subscribe. Press the subscribe button, then press the notification bell so that it will notify you immediately we upload a new video from Ajesara TV. Thank you. Okay, let's go there. Let's go and meet our guest minister named by Pastor Samuel Peter. He's far in a village. We have to travel to the remote village to meet him and not get him there. You will get something from him. And I believe by the end of this program, your life will have been changed and your mindset, your orientation will have been changed totally about the word of God. Thank you and God bless. Well, my name is uh, Samuel Peter, uh, native of Theta State. And, uh, I thank God that I'm alive to see because God preserved my soul to see this day. This day, this day yes. Uh, I'm so married and we should. Okay. Yeah. Mm, can you just give us a little brief history? of your birth, your primary school, your educational life? Well, uh, to the glory of God, I was born on the 19th of June, 1964, in a very remote village called Italy. And not only in that city, but in that village, but in one of the, I uh, can say, the Hamlet camp. Uh, uh, that place is called a uh, very remote uh, area there, called the Weti, in the Weti camp, in the one of the Bacare village or farm. So, to the glory of God, I migrated from that place to uh, a village called Ilese, in the state. So, from there, I started my primary school around the, the year 19, 1969. So I finished because in those days, our parents believed that uh, the more you spend in the school, the more you will be able to have knowledge. So most of the classes were repeated twice, two years before mm -hmm. promotion. Even though I've committed, but my father will say, I should repeat the class again so that I can have more knowledge. So that kept me to spend almost a month that the year I supposed to spend in primary school. Mm -hmm. Finish up in like the year 1977. That, 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 that means your dad must be a, a little bit educated. He's educated. Yeah, that's He's a, a, He was a standard C student that had in his own lifetime. Okay. So from there, by the grace of God, I entered my secondary school in the year 19, 1979. So in those days, we do entrance, common entrance before we can enter yeah, secondary right. school. After the exam, we will do interview. Most of the time, people that pass the entrance did not pass the interview based on their connection with the school principal, was our staff in the school. 
So in most cases, by the time we went to go for to check up, we discovered that people that didn't even uh, attend the interview, their name will be appear. <laughs> Whereas our own that even sat for the interview will not be taken. Mm -hmm. So by and large, by the grace of God, I've gained an entrance to once we call Sussex GC in the show, in our local community area. So I started the years. That was 1979. So 80s. So 80s, by the grace of God, there was free education through mm -hmm. our law at that time. So the most new school were established. That was how I migrated from the left to that issue again, down to Italy. Where yeah, your father actually lives. Yes, yes. No, right here, I'm, I'm, we are now living, my father is now living in the USA. Okay. So we move from that USA, we do the exam, and we pass the exam. That's how we go for the exam and we pass them. I enter secondary school in Italy, Compressive High School, CSC Compressive High School, Italy. We are the founder okay. of that school. We are the first partner of that school. So from here, by the grace of God, when I got to class three, I changed the school game. Mm -hmm. I moved to Ibato Family Bar, okay. where I finished my secondary school in the year 1985. So, for and large, the glory of God, you know, that time to get job, you must get connection mm -hmm. and all those things. Then I left on this stage to Delta State. So, from there, I tried to apply to some companies, rubber companies, factories, because that time there are still industry in Nigeria. So, but based on delay for employment, mm -hmm. I now move for circular work where I learn sort of to work. And one of the summit is happening at that time. So luckily, I met with what one Italian man. The production manager from the cotton industry that came to San Pedro to come and get some woods for the factory in Italy. Mm -hmm. So he was the one that trained me how to how to shaft so how to manage soil. So to set up the work is how you prepare the soil to be to be available for production. So soil maintenance. Okay. So I entered the in that time, and to the glory of God, I was able to be a professional today, yeah. even though there is no government degree <laughs> certificate. But I know it as a practical work mm -hmm. of which I can even train people without going to some so before, and they will get it mm -hmm. quite all right. That's good. So, from there, I moved again from the third state, came down to Ondo State again to Ikiti. But Ondo State that time, but just, well, no, there was no Ikiti State that time. Yeah. And on those days that time, in Adwekiti, precisely. Okay. I worked there. But the minute that I finished up in Sapley, I moved down to Benin. From Benin, I worked in Etiti, in Jaru, Etiti, in Benin. So, under the one day, the Banise uh, company. So, I worked with them. From there, I moved to Adwekiti. From Adwekiti again, I moved to Isekiti. I saw doctor. Okay. Where I have my call. Mm -hmm. But ever since they have been telling me that God wants to make use of me and to use my stories and surrender myself. But I finally received a direct call from God when I was in the circuit. Okay. And that was where I joined the Redeemed Christian Church of God. So then from there, I became a full time uh, minister. Mm -hmm. Moved to Malaysia. From Malaysia, I moved to Sapulet back again. So, finally, finally, I returned back to the state of the town, in the city here. Thank God. Wow, it's a big journey. Let, 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 let me start from that is a kitty where the calling actually started. Uh, let me say, can you give us a little brief explanation about the calling? How the Lord actually dealt with you for well, you to surrender to Him? Uh, I, don't, I don't believe they say. I believe in reality. 
even ever since, many ministers have been telling me that I have a call, I have a call. Even when I got to the security from Adrikiti, that first Sunday, I decided not to go to church. Based on what people are saying that God wants to make you suffer. And I don't want to lose that job because I so like that. Mm -hmm. So, and I said, okay, uh, my wife and children should go to church. Because there is no way I will appear in the church, they will know that God wants to use me. <laughs> so I remain myself in the house. So, but to my surprise, to my big surprise, after closing, the pastor came along with my family down to the house and said, ah, well, the God wants to make use of me. That God said there is one of his sheep in this house. That's why he's around. Ah, I said, God, so I cannot hide from him. So when he said, when he said, I cannot hide, when I said, I cannot hide from you, there's nothing I could do again than to surrender myself to God. Mm. So when I surrender myself to God, I went to my area pastor, the one parish, the called of Oge Parish. So I explained to him, she I should try to surrender myself to God, then I begin to assist the parish pastor. Little by little, through the assistance and all those things like that. Again, God was manifesting himself until one very night when I had, I had a very clear revelation about the calling, where God gave me the covenant between me and the calling, of which I cannot say that to my it's between me and God. So that definitely made me to submit myself to God and resign from the sort of power. Face the ministry up to today. That was the year 1996. And since then, God has been so faithful to the God, hearing from me. He told me that I remember one particular thing, uh, one particular covenant he made with me that I should not base myself on salary, but he will care for me. Of which is 1996, he has been doing that faithfully. That everything that I have to do is through that covenant that God made the provision for. Thank you. Thank you for that covenant. That means our God is still a covenant keeping God. Yes, yes. And I very, pray, very. as many people watching us at home, you could hear the testimony of, of God stick faithful to his calling, Lord, also. Yes. That the same God that we are still serving can still do better and far, far than that in our own time. And I pray the Lord will bless us as we watch in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sir, I still want to ask a question. Oh, before I go to this question, I want to ask, um, even when you said you are being called into the ministry, did your wife agree with you? Yes, by the grace of God, I thank God for the beautiful one that God has given to me. And uh, even the getting my wife is divine arrangement of God. We were not married as a Christian, but the divine arrangement of God, we went to the same school. But I was a senior in the school. Mm -hmm. And was a faithful, there was a faithful day that I perceived that this is going to be my wife tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I invited that. I told that if you can be patient, I know very soon, in future time, you will be my wife. Mm -hmm. So she thought that it's a joke. I remember precisely that that very day there was a sign from heaven. Mm. As we were discussing along the road in the village school, the, the village where we went to school. So there was a little cloud in form of there's going to be rain. And not quite long after during our discussion, the rain started showering just like that. You go to your village, to, go to your own camp, and let me return to my own camp so that the rain will not beat us. But to my greatest surprise, before she got to her own camp, and I got to my own camp, the rain stopped. And there was no rain that day. Mm. So I said, no, this is a sign of heaven that this is the very person that is going to be my wife. And ever since, by the grace of God, we contracted at the same time, the same day, we got converted. Mm. 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 And since, we were both converted before 
having our children, we have already converted. So, and ever since we converted, he has been a very faithful and good partner with the ministry. In fact, I discovered from there that sources of a ministry also depend on the kind of wife you have. Mm -hmm. So, she has been a very good support to my ministry. Thank you very, very much, sir. Yeah. Our viewers at home, it is so clear. We can see God in action here. And we are with uh, Pastor Samuel Peter. At least we can pick some experience there. Some of us in this our time, we are so much blindfolded not to notice signs. We are, not, we are not conscious about it, but here is a sign that the Lord is having something for us in the future. And I want to believe that as at the time my daddy is talking that he, he saw the sign, we'll be in his team. Definitely some of us in our teens, they are not there. We don't have anything at all to show for it. But I pray the Lord will definitely help our teens in this generation in the name of Jesus. Amen. But definitely you just have to take your time to pick something out of what you are learning today. You are not just watching him, but you are picking something out of his life. Sir, let me continue. Let me just ask this question. What's your most challenging time you ever face? Hmm. The most challenging time that I have ever faced that cost me a lot of things. That challenge even cost me life. Mm. Was the time that I want to answer the call. Because I know that call receiving answering the call of God means I need to submit my totality. My entire career my entire dream, my plan, I must submit it all. So because of that, I was so fearful that, ah, by the time I leave this job, how am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to take care of the family? How am I going to take care of my wife and children? Should I be waiting till one member will come and feed me before I feed? So because of that, I didn't yield in time. Even though I hear I received the calling direct and everything, but I feel reluctant to submit. So with that process, during that process, one of my child died. I still say God. It's a lie. That they just won't move me. I will still do this work. But I will do your own work, but I will still do this work. Because if I sleep, I cannot. I know how to do that work right from my dream, in the dream. So, then, with that, I ran again. I said, okay, let me do business with the call. I learned the process. I lost the second child. Ah, I said, God, this is a crucial time. I need to submit. Nobody fight with God and win. So it's one of the most crucial time of my life that cost me life. Why is it crucial time is that it cost me a loss of loss of life, which I can never recover back again by the time I answer the call. Thank you, sir. Wow. No, it's, a, it's, it's pathetic for to the viewers at home. I want us to see more to those statements. Yes, one thing I want to say about that again is that whenever I want to advise anyone that that is a child of God, that God God call us in his minister, the moment you receive the call, answer immediately. So that some of the beneficiary you have acquired before calling, you will not lose it. Because it made me to lose some of the things that are supposed to that supposed to be attached to my benefit to the to the calling. So I lost it because of not answering the calling time. Uh viewers at home, I think you can hear that simple advice. If you know there is a call, just do what? Obey. obey. Just obey so that you will not lose what you have acquired before the ministry starts, mm. and possibly lose what you have in the ministry also. Mm. Yes. 
So it's better you act fast. Uh, thank you, sir. So viewers at home, there is going to be time for questioning. You can write your question on the comments down there to definitely be answered to you. You guys definitely even put your contact details so that they can get in touch with you. Ah, uh, sir. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, I, be, I want to believe it's just a direct question. Then how do you overcome the challenge? Well, simply I overcame the challenge by obeying the Lord. That's just, that's just it. Wow. I know it's going to be a painful thing. You know, you're losing something that it cannot be recovered mm -hmm. is very, very painful. But I pray the Lord will definitely recompensate it back. In his own way, in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, he, he really did. He did. He did. And then let me now ask a question. Mm. Then what are the compensation the Lord has done yes, there? Yes, yes, yes. The immediately I obeyed. God quickly intervened, so that I have not lose my courage. Intervened by making, by giving me another child. Then when the child was born, God. Wonderfully, God supplied all the need to care for that child. Even the child that he gave that time, during our school, our, uh, our school time, she received a scholarship. I believe that is the reward of God. So that I will not think that, yes, what I lost, that I lost it for them. Ah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Okay, uh, let me just come up with this. Um, when do you get married? Well, to the glory of God, uh, you, at times, yeah, I, I studied that there are three things that you cannot predict, that this is your own plan for it. Marriage, children, Money. Okay. So people said until they get money before they get married. So people say we say until they get more married before they get children before they can get money before before they can marry. No. So really, I got married early. Immediately I started my sort of work. I married him. So that was the year 19, uh, 1987. 1987. Precisely on January 1987. So I got married. As a listener, at home. My name is Sakia Imesola Jumake. I'm here to present you a program titled Enduring. <laughs> wow. I know you'll be surprised by hearing that title, Enduring. What does it mean by Enduring? Does it actually entail in Enduring? Do subscribe to our channel, Adesara TV. You know, when we are talking about Enduring, it usually comprises of two parties. But even if it is symbolic or any other thing, it comprises of two components. So therefore, if you want to know, just subscribe. You will have the better understanding about enduring. Or is there anything that has been buzzing you to the corner in your marriage? Just subscribe to this channel for better understanding. As a young couple, if you want to know more about marriage, connect to this program. You will have the better understanding. I still remain your friend, Aki Yame Messi. Then we meet in the program. God bless you. One of your experience in the mission work. Mm. Well, the, the, there are a lot of experiences in the mission. To be a missionary is a task that uh, in most cases, you look for help from man and you will not get it. But as missionary, the help of a missionary comes direct from God. 
because most of the challenges is that sometimes I want to go out, there will be no finance to move out. You know, I used to tell people that my calling is not pastor, but I'm a missionary evangelist, moving from one place to the other, mostly in the rural areas that needed materials, needed mobility, needed finance. It's the time that I, I wanted to start, there was no money. There's vehicle, there's equipment to go, but no money to go. At that time, it's money to fuel the car, to fuel the generator, to preach to people. But we decide. Well, this challenge will not stop us not to push. After all, Peter of Boot did not use instrument to win 3,000 souls in a day. So, we never, we, me and my wife, we sat together. What do we do? Thank God that we started at that time. We exactly that time. So, it's okay. And there is this uh, road seller petrol in that uh, street. They allow it. You can stay with yourself with care, with the same data. So we make arrangement with one of the seller. So we become his, we become his customer. That's okay, please. We'll be taking some data software, going to the field, that when we come, we pay. And in our mission, we don't take offering. So when we get there, we buy credit. Proof of work, proof of vehicle, put credit in the generator, then we move. To our greatest surprise, without asking for offering, people will bring to money to support the ministry before we leave the mission field. Mm. Mm. And by the time we return, we pay, we have remnants <laughs> to care for ourselves again. Oh, that won't move us. Mm. That yes, really when God assigned you for a mission, He supports you. So with that support, our calling was so bold and so, so, so powerful. Mm, that's good. So there's no challenge that comes at all that stops us at all. Mm -hmm. We now, we now from there we discover that challenge bring promotion. Mm. Every challenge that comes my way in this mission always lead to promotion for me. And begin to, I begin to see the hand of God, the mighty hand of God. And that is why, by His grace today, there is nothing that can discourage me from that mission work again. So, there are challenges, but every of our challenges always lead to promotion and to the power of God. God showing us His power and courage that is the one that called, that is able to fulfill and support His courage. Thank you very, very much. Ah, I'm so elated here now. And so I believe also the people watching you at home presently right now, they are highly elated. That you have gotten to the point that there is no challenge that can even take you back. No, again. no, 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 no. Because no the Lord has actually proved himself. Yes. Viewers at home, I'm just saying it to you. What is that challenge that you are facing? What is that thing that you are facing? The Lord is faithful to his call. So he's also faithful to your life as well. That you are watching our daddy, I believe an anointing, a power is passing from him to you right away. And you know, I believe your courage is increasing, your strength is increasing as well. Definitely, you will never be the same again. Okay, can you just give us an example of one rugged place that you've been to, or two or three? Well, uh, by the grace of God, one of the rugged places that I've went to. Uh, Mostly are in the Muslim communities like uh, Ibadan, one of the villages in Ibadan. There's one village there that that place right very day it was God deliverance after preaching, after showing the film. So in the night there was an attack as we pray, as we woke up and started praying, as we are writing out the prayer. One Muslim man came and said, Ah, these people of God, you wake up. I said, Of course, but I think, Papa, why, why did you say that? Say that. Uh, he said, Nobody can preach such message and say the truth like that and wake up in this village. The name of the village is Hawaii. 
in a bad very close to two gate in in bad through along the if a bad on if a if a road so along that express we enter the village so the challenge that day is i said sir you mean it he now made one for a yoruba proverb that okulele yanta that we cannot say that word and preach such message here and wake up the next day so to the glory of god i said papa you better give your life to jesus because all power belongs to jesus and right there the muslim man knelt down and said he want to believe in on our in our god that god, our god is powerful in as much we are able to wake up that yes yeah, this god is powerful and from there he gave his life to jesus and we pray for him so that is in a hawaii village very close to ibadan Another one is uh, at uh, Bolo Dumori in Okego in Ondo State here. Really, I've been hearing about that place. To one, uh, one, uh, there's one uh, Yoruba history book that we read that time, Bolo Dumori. Then, really, I, I was uh, fortunate to get to that village. And the real Bolo Dumori is really Bolo Dumori because there are, there are demonic forces in that land. And uh, really, when I stayed my mission work there, I own the projector, own my generator. But I discovered that it get to its time that my generator begin to stop. Not because of any fault, but they attacked the generator. They said nobody use generator in this place and go out with the generator working. So two times the generator got off. The third time I now carry my nitro and I anointed the generator, I decree upon the generator. So, to their surprise, I was able to hold the crusade successfully, make a tackle, cancel the new convert. Then I put music to round up. Before I round up, all of them ran into their house, houses and slept away. So that, because they were put to shame. So, that is in a okay book in Ondo State. Then, to the glory of God, the work has taken me to Wari, has taken me to Enugu, has taken me to many places in the Ocean State. Odeomu, Petumodu, Bagan, many places to the glory of God. And even in Delta, there is no extraordinary. We have work in Delta State by the grace to the glory of God, planted some churches for redeemed there. Monda sixty parishes. So and God is still keep on working. But I'm still telling God that God have not just have not started at all. He should do more. Even in the river right area, we have went there. I, we don't know how to swim. But to the glory of God we enter the fry boat and uh, we sometimes we use five hours on the surface of the water with speed boats. So we went to uh, a Jakurama, we went to uh, this is Bokoda rivers also. Then uh, uh, Nukura in the Bayesa state. That means those are the tough areas whereby when I'm there, I don't hear their, I don't understand their languages and there is no means of escape if anything should happen there. But God preserve my soul. And anytime, anywhere I go, God always show his supremacy and people turn to, turn to God and listen to God and at the end God's name is glorified and I have not harm at all. We go, we went so we go there successfully, we came back successfully without any harm. Even they even call for more that like we should come back to them again. So to the glory of God, the mission work made me to know many places and have a Canada with those good people and through the missionary work I'm able to get to Jobs. I spent some weeks in Jobs. I was able to get to Lorin. I did some time in Lorin also. So, in fact, it has helped me. The only thing that I pray that God will take the ministry outside this country very soon. Amen. And as you have said it, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is not of you to make a plan for it, but it's of God to arrange it. Yes. And as people of the Lord are hearing you, the arrangement is set in the name of Jesus. Hello, Kita.
at home. How are you all doing? Hope you are enjoying this holiday you are in, and hope you are enjoying time out with your parents. And you see, actually, uh, I'm here to introduce to you a new show on Achasara TV, and the theme is Kids Time Out. Yay! I know you will love it. It's going to be fun packed. You know, you understand the fun we kids do have. We are enjoying having fun. So kids time out is all is going to be fun for you. You will learn a lot of things. You will learn that you are upcoming you're an upcoming adult. How you ought to do, how you ought to behave, things you ought to do, things you ought to know as a kid. Who needs to touch you? Who doesn't need to touch you? We have the need to touch and we have the need to touch in your part of the body and how you can carry yourself with elegance and with self-confidence. See, you will have more and more of this when you subscribe to Adjusara TV. And please remember to click on the notification bell. Do inform your parents. Thank you. Please give us what does the mission work entails? Well, you know I said it that time that I'm a mission evangelist mostly to the rural uh, areas where people are abandoned, both interior, mostly rugged areas where people cannot easily go. So, but my mode of mission is on film evangelism. I use film to interpret the message of God to people so that they can see reality. Because some people today, they don't know that they are passing through some difficulties until they see something is happening to them, they won't understand that this thing that is happening to them is affecting their destiny. So, but during the film, by the time they will see, they will be able to think about their life and they will now call on God. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call on me and I will answer you. And I will show to you, reveal to you the miserable thing that you don't know. It is when they call on God that God will be able to show them the brain behind their calamities. They will, now they will not call for God for deliverance. There is no deliverance without, without revelation. So the, my mission is a revelation mission that I reveal to people what people are passing through, how the devil torment people, how the devil decay people's destiny. How people enter bondage, self bondage, generational bondage, and even environmental bondage. So, through the film program, this will be open. Even some pastors, they don't know that there are some background they need to break the yoke so that their ministry will prosper. They have foundational problems that can go into ministry with the minister, and the minister will be blessing people's life while his own life will not grow. So, but during this program, this evangelism, you will know more about your life and God, you will, and how God can bless you in your ministry. So the mood of the ministry is on film evangelism. You have projector to project it out and all those things like that. Then if you need us for revival, need us for all night, all night deliverance, come with our equipment, then we project for you. And after having, if it is so winning, maybe to expand your church or to make your church grow, we go outreach with you. Then we have the souls. Then we hand over the souls to you. We care for the soul. We don't have our own church. We don't have our own church. I'm not a, I'm not a general overseer of a church. But I partner with ministries to bring people to the kingdom of God and to learn the kingdom of God. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, to my viewers at home, uh, at least to an extent, we have learned a lot. We understand what the ministry of Pastor Samuel Peter is all about. Um, calling us just to be of help, even to that ministry. As much as the Lord will lay in your heart, it's not by compulsion or any other thing. It's not by scrolling on the screen right now. You can definitely give a call or even greet him to celebrate. He can even pray for you as you are watching. You have not wasted any time. You have not wasted any money. You have not wasted anything. Just receiving a call from him might turn your life around. Just take a bold step and just give a call. And as the Lord laid in your heart, you can definitely support the ministry. And if you are a church-based pastor, the Lord have called you into the ministry and your ministry has been calling. You can call to seek for knowledge, seek for insight. 
he has been in the ministry for more than three decades now. So definitely he has something that you're interested in it. So you can just give a call. And above all, he's celebrating his birthday. I just want to give him a word of encouragement that the Lord that has started with him will definitely help him to finish strong. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you too. And what I want to tell you that your day of own celebration is what? It's at the, it's at, it's, it's your day of own celebration is just at your next door. It's just there. So just celebrate him so that you also will be what? Celebrated. Ore, bros, this is where you hear me for I don't hear. Bros, I don't mind me, sir. I beg you. Manina, Pastor, Elepo, Julius, Adebayo. I come here today to introduce one package for you. Now, concerning what concerning our Gesara television channel. Once you click and subscribe and you press that button, bros, you are on. And once you are on, you are welcome to the big league. Catch ya! What can you tell us about your previous birthday to date? Well, what thing that I used to do during my birthday? Made into a form of covenant with God. At the end of my birthday, the week of my birthday must be a week of revival. The bliss is over. But there's nothing I, if I eat, I will throw it off. Just some hours. If it digests and it will become a waste. But what can, can you do? What, because it's not my power that made me to see this day. I'm alive today because of God and by God. If not God, many that were born at the same age have gone. I know a lot. Many of my classmates, they have gone. So, me being alive today, in my every year bad day, I give glory to God for preserving my soul. Now, uh, why did I choose to have, to always have a crusade? It's because of one of the events that happened during my mission, during my evangelism. Or could sit out of my outreach. I remember very well in the year uh, 2000 in Ophatedo, in Osho State. So the crusade was going on, and there was an arrow that was shot. I saw the fire coming, but to the glory of God, I was able. God was able to preserve me and the thing that he penetrated to me put it diverted to one side of my side, to by my right hand side. I heated the lady sitting, washing the thing that I was projecting that time for evangelism. And the, the child gave up right there. So the crowd came and they were saying that they were saying that they will arrest me today, they will lock me up. Then by the grace of God, I called the God. I remember him, the covenant between me and him. Because I am the calling. But God, you must prove yourself this day. If you didn't wait this day, which means you are not the resurrection of life. So I told the people that this child will wake up and wash, continue washing the film for the evangelism. So, as God will have it, as God, God, what should I, what should I do? God said, go and lay your hand. I told you that you will lay your hand on the sick and the sick will recover if you, you and that you will raise the dead. So right there I lay my right hand on the forehead and say receive life. That, that simple prayer brought that lady to life. Mm -hmm. So that very day I know the joy of evangelism and so many. And even with that incident that happened, that challenge. He made the people that gave their life to God on that very day on counted number. Mm -hmm. To the extent that we cannot write names, I asked them to write their name and bring their name the following day by themselves. So it was uh, so that they, with the joy of evangelism, that is why I, just, I determined that every hour of my, every year of my birthday will be a week of evangelism to bring souls to God. Wow, that's a good covenant with the Lord. I want to believe our viewers at home are learning something wonderful there. You are celebrating your birthday, you gather people together to celebrate, but you are wasting your money. But instead of you to use it as a means to do what? 
to bring to souls bring into, to the, into the kingdom. Into the kingdom of God. And I want to believe as many watching us will definitely do something in respect to that as well. I pray the Lord will help everybody in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ah, Daddy, lastly, let me just ask this question. Is there anyone you wish to celebrate at all? Celebrate my birthday without celebrating my wife. I give the glory to God, but my wife, I must celebrate her. Because this is not by my side. I believe by now. Maybe the, the calling will have expired. Or giving to another man to continue. So she's there with me. She gives me food in time. She encouraged me, pray with me, so I celebrated her. Then the children, I must also celebrate my children. Because today, I am, by the grace of God, I am most of them that, yes, they are, God has laid their leg, their feet on the higher ground. He can challenge the devil, and the devil will know that, yes, these children are for science and wonder. So I also celebrate them because they are always there with me. Pray for me, then they, when I encourage them, they take to my courage. They, they, when I tell them, let's serve the Lord, they, they serve the Lord with joy, happiness. They are not working against my calling and ministry. So I celebrate them for being a godly children. And I give God the glory. Thank you very, very much. Wow. I want to encourage the viewers at home. It's nice, it's nice having you on this channel at Jesara TV. There are many men of God that the Lord have actually used to pull the kingdom of God, to move the kingdom of God forward and pull down the kingdom of darkness, which is one of our daddy that you are watching, Pastor Samuel Peter. Samuel Peter. Uh, I just want to encourage us. You know, as we are having a discussion, he's a full-time missionary work. He's working in the mission field and he's there, affecting lives, bringing souls into the kingdom. Some of us are just there, seated where we are, without making an impact. I want to encourage you. We are, we are bringing him to just to celebrate him. But we are not just celebrating him. I want you, even you that you are watching him, to be a what? To celebrate him as well. And I pray the Lord will drop something in your heart to celebrate him as well in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So, Daddy, uh, I would just want to offer a word in one minute. Just speak a word into the life of the viewers at home. Then we'll round off. Well, viewer, the only just short word I can give to you is that faithful is he that call it. And as many that obey his call, can never be disappointed. And the Bible says the just shall live by faith. Then the call is not by making money, but by making impact to the life of people through the God that call. So I want to encourage you that when you receive call from the Lord, obey the Lord. Let God equip you. He is faithful and is a covenant keeping God. He will not let you down. The more you work for Him, the more He sharpens you. The more He sharpens you, the more you are powerful in His kingdom. And the more you become dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. And He promised in Luke chapter 10, verse 19, that He has given you the power and the authority. To track upon all those coupon as serpent and all the power of the enemy that can make you to run away from college. He said, There is nothing that will fear by enemies hurt you. God is faithful to that covenant. And please, I want to encourage you obey the call of God and be a soul winner. If anyone that is a soul winner, anyone that is a soul winner, God will never lose, leave his own soul to be lost. So much praise the Lord for the life of my cousin. Really, may God call him. It's not easy to do the work. <laughs> but 
for the little jam that that day is allowed, but I don't want to even listen to God like, ah, God, I can't do this work. I can't do this work, man. He affects us, man. He loves to so. Until I just say, yeah, I am God. I'm ready to do it. You know, we as well is suffering for something. You go do it, and your family will survive. So that time, uh, we lost to so. That now due to do the work. So we don't go out with the no even request of doing it. God has not even disappointed us one day. Thank God that the God that is faithful to his calling. Yeah. Then uh, okay, you said the lost the source. I just want you to wish him a birthday. What do you wish him in the nearest time? I wish my husband healthy birthday, long life and prosperity. In Jesus, I have more strength to do the work of God. In Jesus' name. Then, um, as a mother in the house, what counsel will you give to the younger women yes. in the ministry with their husband? Mm. My own counsel that I will give to them is that. Is continue to endure with your husband. If not, in, ah, no, we can't do this. You did. Try to do such. They will survive. Because what my eyes, I don't want other people to see. Yes, to die. So I pray that if then they will cooperate with their husband to do the work successfully and to pay for them. Ah, is my father biologically and even spiritually. Um, he is a man of worth. He's a man that, that I can say, is a man of diligence. He, and he's also a man of time. He loves keeping to time. He's a father. He's loving, caring, and he doesn't play joke with his children. He, he so much have that. He has feelings for his children, his family, even at at large. And when it also comes to the things of God, is. He, he, he has that zeal for the things of God. He's a caring father, he's his nice father, and he's, he's God's saint. I've learned so much of, of things because he's a very skilled man. God really blessed him with so much talents and everything. So I learned how to be somewhat gentle and take watch, be gentle and calm and look to things before you do the thing. I'm the first son of uh, Pastor Peter Samuel. Uh, I would say he has been a good father. Not just a good father, he's, um, I call him a disciplinary father. You know, a father who teaches his children the ways of the Lord, how to be disciplined in the things he or she is doing. Uh, like my younger ones, uh, we say, they say he's a timekeeper. We all learn how to be a timekeeper with him. And he's a godly father, a man with the fear of God, a man with the heart of the children. He, he has his body to carry people together. He doesn't chastise people away. He draws people closer. And we learn a lot from him. Uh, I just want to say happy birthday to him. Long life and prosperity in Jesus' name. As kote koto di pe wa ko de bi gan ati ri mai pe eyan dada ni won. Ba to de ya wa meta la n sise ni church. A de kun le agbadura so Olorun pe a fe ki daddy kuro la rin wa nbi o. De Olorun de gbo adura wa. Ba tan de de bi won ni mama won la won mo n wa ile. Ah. Mo ni daddy. Mo ni o de da bi pon fe ta ibi bayi o. Ni se looto mo ni looto ni. Oni se number eniyan wa lowo mi mo lo wa lowo mi mo de fun won ni number won de se ba ra won soro ni Olorun de gba Olorun de gba sakoso so won je eyan dada laarin wa iku o de ni pa won laarin wa loruko Jesu ma se n pon wa awa na oni jabo leyin won nkan o de ni sha won mo won ati yawo won awon gan o de ni ka ba mo pe won wa si bo mo de oku loruko Jesu bi mo se ri irin ajo daddy si niyan o won da laarin wa pupo pupo ah Daddy, dey yan gidi o. A de ri pe Olorun gbe nu aye won. Tori ko si kan ton ni to je pe won le si toro fun omo ojo. 
gbo mojo na na ma ngba dura fun ma se program fun wa lowo wa lowo ma se program fun wa a de gba ti won a de a de dupe lowo olohun pe ero okan won ni ilu bomode oku pe o bo si gbo olohun yo nda aye ti won fun won ta si olohun wa ninu aye won and few mo se mo won ni late last year and ni period ti mo fun won mo si gba ti mo wa I've seen some changes when I go there yes, for prayer. It answered me. It doesn't look down on people. Maybe you just uh, this is not the type of people you answer, but it's not the type. It's the type of person that draw people closer, hear your pain, and tell you the solution to your problem. Lenu iyeti amorai ni moribipe surely a man of God. And it's a man of his destiny. I'm also taught to be more You don't hide the feelings. One of the things one of the things I'm more fun in the young. But one should jelly. But one should jelly. But we pay. It's always talk the truth. I'm also taught no recording. No bug bug bug. And what they can we in your mora? Uncle your mora. Only fainu. I buy a shade, a shower da. Only we pay, it's a very jovial, jovial man. Is a woman no? We do better with our own pay, or more job be ready. Nino Ajara. Because to battery will be ready. What is the name, Wamo? More we pay more to your common lane. I work alone. But they like the relationship. But I'm not there. She relates more. I want not.